Hi everyone, this is Austin with Chasing the Dream on Doors. Wanted to put a video out um, explaining our new service we're offering this year. It's going to be deer recovery using our thermal drones. I know it's not the typical type of deer recovery that you're used to. I know a lot of people are used to used to dogs, bloodhounds, um, and I've used them in the past. I have no complaints at all. Every time I've used them, luckily I've been able to find the, the deer that I shot, but I think that using thermal drones, I think it's going to be a game changer for the future. Um, we've been using it and getting video and testing it out for a little while now, and I think it's I think it's a really cool tool um, to have, you know, when you need it. Hopefully, you know, in a perfect world, no one needs it, but I wanted to be able to uh, offer this this year, and I think it's a super easy way to get. You know, instead of having dogs and people running through the woods, um, I think it's a really good tool to use. And after you know, flying it and testing out everything it has to offer, I think it's I think it's going to be really good. And I hope this video can kind of kind of clear some some questions up and just kind of show you know what it's capable of. All right, this first video here is just a quick video. Um, this is going to be your your white hot thermal. This is early morning. You can see how cool the ground is compared to the deer that you can see on the video in the center of the screen. Uh, super cool how easy it is to, to pick out the heat signature of, of deer. And this grass is four or five feet tall and you can easily locate them. If that was a, a deer that was unable to be located and dead in the field, super easy to find. This next video is a split screen. So this is what we're seeing on our controller. Um, it's about a four or five inch screen. We can split screen it to see the thermal and the color picture at the same time. This is kind of going to show the zooming capabilities. We're about 300 feet, 350 feet above the ground right now. Deer have, has no idea that we're there. And uh, this is kind of show the zooming capabilities as well. Uh, the blurriness you see in between is just the changing of the lenses. There's multiple lenses on the camera. And you can see how close you can get. And this is going to be helpful um, making sure it's the deer you shot, especially at nighttime. And then I'll get more to that uh, in a different clip later on. Super cool stuff, though. And typically, we're going to be a lot lower than what we are now. Obviously, we're just getting some test video, and we don't want to get too low to spook the deer. All right, in this next clip, uh, this is... Just a couple does we found on the edge of a field here. Um, and you can tell that there's a lot of leaves still on the trees. This is going to be kind of what you're going to expect in your September, early October months. And you can still see how easy it is to, to see the deer down through the trees. I know that's a question people are going to have. Can you see through the trees? And with experience and practice and knowing where to, how to check around different angles where a deer may be, um, you can see that it's super effective to still see the deer in the hardwoods. And uh, Jacob's going to change the settings here to kind of show red hot, or your iron bow, um, and the different settings for the thermal that we have on the camera. The uh, For these conditions, the, the white hot's going to be a little better. I kind of want to pause it right here. Um, the differences between these different thermal settings, like I said, you have white hot, you have the iron bow, which is going to be this red hot. It's all going to depend on the temperature of the trees, the ground. These are these videos are taken during a warmer month, so the trees are going to show more similar temperature as the deer. So we like to use the white hot right now during these warmer days, just because the deer tend to stick out a lot more. On this next clip, we're going to show off how good the spotlight on our drone works. This is going to be um, really important for tracking deer because normally you're going to be tracking or trying to recover deer at night. Um, it's typically better due to the temperatures. The light's super bright. Um, you can see on our female example here that it lights her up and everything around her really well from about 300, 350 feet up in the air. And this is going to be really important to make sure that the, the deer that we do locate, if it's dead, if it's alive, um, we can see Hopefully where the deer's hit, if it is still alive, if it's going to be a lethal shot or not. And we don't want to 
find just a thermal image and, and hope that's the one just because it's setting still because sometimes we'll find deer bedded down at night and we want to make sure that it's the the deer that we're looking for. I hope this video helps just a little bit uh, to kind of explain and show the capabilities of, of our drones and we hope to help as many people as we can this year. We're based out of the Oldham and Henry County areas of Kentucky. Give us a call, shoot us a text. Our phone numbers are going to be at the end of this video. We're hoping to help as many people as possible this year, help recover their deer, and we really do believe in this technology. And I appreciate you taking your time to watch this video, and I hope it answers any questions that, that may come up about you know how this thermal technology works. And uh, Let's get out there and, and find some deer for you guys. Thank you.